Oh, well, you get over it. He's not doing anything wrong. Maybe he'd prefer to have a shower next door. That was completely unnecessary, Olivia. I am planning on asking your dad to come to dinner. I'd like you both to be here. I would like us to try and have a family meal together. Yeah, whatever. I'll see you later. I'm going out for a while. Oh, dear, trauma and neighbours. She's here. Kim Valentine, welcome to the show. Yay. Are you really okay. on the phone? Yes, yes. Are you, is there they really love somebody? Billy, they love Billy. Just, uh, that's Billy's, Billy's, Billy's not on this week. Second. Thank you very much. I'll pass She's very on. good, actually. Maybe we should give her a job. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. So, Bye. in true Aussie soap star style, you're over here uh, to uh, do a panto. Do a panto. Beck Theatre, Middlesex, Hayes. Come along. Excellent. Snow who, White. Are you, who are you playing? Snow, Snow White. White. I played Cinderella once. I was the largest, scariest Cinderella. I was terrible. Never, never, never again. Never again. Um, but do you enjoy, have you done Panto here before? Yes, year before last, did Cinderella. Do Australians kind of, like, if you went home and uh, described the concept of Panto to Australians, do they understand? Uh, they're not really into it. No, it's a very it strange it's, English It's a British thing. Phenomenon. I think, but is it true that when you were younger, when you were a wee one, <laughs> you wrote uh, lots and lots of letters to uh, a competition to meet Kylie Minogue? Because you were a huge Neighbours fan? I, um, when I was about eight, nine years old, I sat up one night and filled in 150 entries to win a day on the set of Neighbours. And did you win? No, but now I spend like every day there. <laughs> so, I mean, so is there a lot any plot lines to leave in the future or are you going to stay? Um, no, I'm staying. Yeah? I'm staying. I'm and and as far as the love money. love stories go, are you going to be happy for the next few months? Uh, no. With the older man? No, older man's coming in. There you but go. it wouldn't be drama if I was happy, so, you know. No, well, it's a bit happier than the EastEnders, I think. Mm. Neighbours. I haven't seen like, Maybe it's the, the climate or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to ask Libby, uh, Kim, sorry, a question. I always do that. That's okay. Uh, a question, then she's going to be doing quick fire questions a little bit later on the show. This yeah. is the number to ring right now. 018111. Now, it does seem like a bit of a shame to rely on Ben, Jess and Rich to bring culture to this show, but at least they try, so here we are. Show us your art! Yes, thank you, Zoe. Welcome once again to Show Us Your Art. Run through the rules of quick-fire okay. questions, okay? We have ten callers ready on the line who are going to fire their questions. You have two minutes mm -hmm. to answer as many questions as you can. Two minutes, okay. Is that clear? That's fine. Okay, can we dim the lights, please? Dim the lights. Okay. Your two minutes starts. Now, who's on line number one? It's Daniel Tully from Edgeware. What What's are you it? hoping for this Christmas? What are you hoping for this Christmas? Uh, to see my mum. Okay, thanks very much, Daniel. Who's on line number two? Thank you, Captain from Peterborough. Um, if you wasn't in neighbours, what would you do instead? Uh, probably be studying, learning how to act. Who's, <laughs> good question. Who's on line number three? Hello, Justin Elric from Glasgow. Hello, Cam. Are you anything like the characters you play neighbours? What? Oh, are you anything like the character you play in Neighbours? Uh, we have similar eyes, I've been told. Uh, Apart from that, uh, no. Uh, uh, no, sorry. Okay, who's on line number four? Would you, would you like to be a journalist? Would I like to be a journalist? I think that depends on who I had to interview. Good answer. Who's on line number five? Hi, it's Emma Ray from Stockton. Do you prefer acting in theatre than on television? I can't choose. I like both. Mmm, sitting on the fence. Who's on line number six? Smith from Markham. What's the worst mistake you've ever made in Neighbours? The worst mistake I've ever made in Neighbours is uh, speaking in Maltese, because my mum's Maltese and I accidentally said a line in Maltese once, which was you know, pretty bad. <laughs> who's on line number seven? Hi, it's Alex Knight from Reigate. I'd like to know, who's your best friend on the set? The girl who played Debbie Martin, Marnie Reese Wilmore. Best friend. Who's on line number eight? It's Alice Zane from Croydon. Has any storyline in Neighbours ever happened to you in real life? Ooh, not exactly the same, but I think we've all had a broken heart. 30 seconds ago, who's on line number nine? Hey, Sammy Gibbs starts from Kenton. Um, what made you decide to go into Neighbours? Um, the money. <laughs> 15 seconds left, who's on line number 10, our final caller? It's Harriet Beasy from Warwickshire. Would you, um, would you go out with someone much older than you in real life? Absolutely. Hooray! With two seconds to go. Yes! She did it. Kim. Brilliant. Well done. Ooh, See you later. Very exciting. Thanks very much. Thanks for all your calls. Thanks very much, Kim. Time now for Kate Sanderson to tell us what's coming up on Electric Circus.